like all of us who participate in the Project for Awesome, I often like to think about what I could do to make the world as a whole suck less. I'm also thankful for living in a country that is on a world scale considered a safe, prosperous, and stable place to live in. Canada. But it's important to realize that even in these so-called developed nations such as Canada and the United States, a lot of us still live in societies of great economic and social inequalities. Well, I don't think I'm a person who will ever cease to care about global causes and initiatives. I also think that all of us can give a little bit of time and effort to support our own local communities. According to Statistics Canada, up to 3.3 million households in this country live in unaffordable or substandard housing. Here in Toronto, where I live, there are over 100,000 people on the affordable housing wait list and the number keeps growing every single year. And poverty among Canadians often disproportionately affect the most vulnerable groups such as Aboriginal Canadians, racial minorities, and children. And that's why for this year's Project for Awesome, I'm supporting Habitat for Humanity which is an international organization that aims to break the cycle of poverty through access to affordable homeownership. It has about 70 chapters all around the world with over 1,400 local affiliates in just the United States alone. So wherever you are in the world, there's likely a local affiliate somewhere near you to support, donate to, and volunteer your time to. Here in my local affiliate, Habitat for Humanity of the Greater Toronto Area, the program enables qualifying low-income families themselves with the help of volunteers to build homes together with donated materials. The families then purchase the home from Habitat for Humanity with an interest-free mortgage, with the payments then going forward to fund future Habitat for Humanity homes. In addition to this, many affiliates operate a program called Restore, a secondhand furniture, appliance, decor, and building materials store that accepts donations of used, overstocked, discontinued materials and or salvaged building materials from manufacturers, retailers, and individuals. The items are then sold at a significantly reduced cost. Habitat for Humanity GTA actually covers 100% of their administrative costs through the profits of Restore, thus making possible for all the money donated to the charity go directly towards its core program, home building. What's more amazing about the Restore program is that it's not only economically responsible, but also environmentally sustainable. By salvaging and reusing used and secondhand materials, just Restore GTA alone has diverted over 3 million pounds or 1,500 metric tons of reusable materials from landfills just in one year alone. And the materials that are donated to as well as purchased from restores are generally by local contractors, builders, retailers, and other homeowners, making it possible for pretty much anyone in the local community to contribute to the organization. Whether it's through donations, volunteering in construction, volunteering in salvaging and reusing materials, donating a piece of gently used furniture, or even purchasing a piece of furniture from a restore, all of us can in some way contribute to this great cause. Overall, I believe Habitat for Humanity creates an amazing cycle of community involvement, sustainable practices, and economic empowerment. And that's why it should definitely deserve your vote for this year's Project for Awesome. And I encourage you to please also consider contributing directly to the organization, such as volunteering for your local Habitat for Humanity affiliate. Thanks for watching and don't forget to be awesome.